the John Smith Northumberland Plate is next at Pittman's Derby. It's a two mile 0 to 110 handicap. Tactile East at the top for David Robertson. Homeless Craig Beckwith. Caribus Dan Hughes. Homeboy Patch Munas. Native Truth Leon Van Rensburg. Baltic October. Graham Clitterbuck, Wind and Mother in Martin Leadham, October Tiger, Graham Clitterbuck, Prickly Harvest, Craig Beckwith, Six Fields, Martin Leadham, I Told You, David Hooley, and Star Deli, Alex Cherry, a field of 12, plenty of previous winners in this, should be a good one, and away they go, two miles on the all-weather track at Newcastle, no turn of flat track left at Newcastle, sadly, but it's October Tiger, it was quickest out, but Nevin joined by Homeboy Patch, and Homeboy Patch in the pink will go on into the lead. Two circuits of the track ahead of them, and Homeboy Patch has quickly gone four or five lengths clear, and he's not hanging around, and he's going to make sure this is a proper test of stamina. He'd be wondering if this one was put in as a pacemaker if Munas had got another one in, but he hasn't, so it obviously isn't in as a pacemaker. This is how he wants to race, and Homeboy Patch is seven lengths clear of October Tiger in second and then Baltic October in third Prickly Harvest is fourth Six Fields is next and then Tactile East is after that one with Star Deli wide on the track Caribus is tucked in on the rail being tracked by Native Truth Wind and Wuthering is the early back marker who's finding the pace a little bit hot and being scrubbed along I'm certainly going to have to stay the two miles if you're going to win this at the pace that Homeboy Patch is taking them along at and Continues to lead by six lengths and shows no sign of slowing down at this point. October Tiger is in second, and then Prickly Harvest is third. Six Fields is close up in fourth, and there's a line of five of them. They're probably just about headed by Tactile East, although Stardelli on the outside is now moving into a clear fifth. Wyndon Wuther is starting to get a little bit closer. Homeless just running into the last place, but the leader, Homeboy Patch, has a five length advantage now. Just going back to the pack a little bit. Maybe the jockey giving him a little bit of a breather as they come up the straight. And they'll. They should pass the winning post shortly and then head out for another complete circuit of the Newcastle track. And it's Homeboy Patch who is in the lead. Four lengths clear. Totally got my bearings wrong, haven't I? Because I, was in New I didn't realise Newcastle was a two mile all weather track. But it looks like it must be. Anyway, Homeboy Patch is in the lead. I don't follow weather racing much, that's my excuse for not knowing that. But it's Homeboy Patch in the lead from October Tiger second. Tactile East is third, then Six Fields is next. Baltic October is after that one, then Caribus and uh, Native Truth. Prickly Harvest is next. Wind and Wuthering is starting to pick his way through the field. But it's Homeboy Patch who's now only two lengths clear as they pass the four pole and will shortly start to swing towards home. Homeboy Patch it is then who's got the lead from October Tiger in second. Then Tactile East is in third. Native Truth is now coming through to throw down a challenge. Baltic October is also coming through as well. But it's still Homeboy Patch in the lead with two and a half to go. But now Native Truth comes through to challenge. He's immediately pressed by Baltic October. Caribus has got a great run up the inside and it's coming through. So to his wind and mother in prickly harvest is an out of it either and then not. October Tiger, but it's Native Truth who's kicked on now. Native Truth has suddenly gone two to three clear, racing down towards the final furlong. Wind and Wuthering is the one who's now chasing really hard on the outside and making up a lot of ground, but it's Native Truth who's in the lead. Wind and Wuthering now swoops through and takes it up. Caribus is gone with a run. Here comes Tactile East, and Tactile East swoops to take it up, and Tactile East is going to go on to win it. Here comes Six Fields there with a late run, and Six Fields might have got up to take it. It's mighty close there. Oh, we could have called about four winners inside the final furlong. It looked as though David Robertson's horse has timed it to perfection, but he's been outdone by six fields on the inside, who springs a bit of a surprise. It has to be said. And thrilling finish. Four of them could have won that inside the final furlong, but six fields was the one who took it for Martin Leadham. Tactile East was second for David Robertson. October Tiger third for Graham Clutterbuck. Homeboy Patch for Munas. The long-time leader stayed on to be fourth and Wind and Wuthering for Martin Leadham again was fifth. Wow. Well.